Who was trying to do this shit in the States? You wouldn't even get to first base in USA because all of the peripheral commercial bullshit that you have to deal with. This is a journey into sound. Hello, my name is Christian Hill, and I'm a filmmaker living in Los Angeles, California. However, I was born and raised in West Seven Mile, Detroit, Snow Now, the D. I'd like to thank Shari Vari for inviting me to speak about branding and the importance of marketing and promotion. I think the best way to kick this talk off is deal with the brands that we've created while we've been in the process of making this feature film. Uh, God said, give them drum machines, the story of Detroit techno. My partner Jen and I in 2010 started filming in and around Detroit and we were looking for a way to tell empowering story about our hometown and in doing so we filmed a gentleman who I've known throughout my life by the name of Al Esther. I try to try to make my music as visual as well as audio. In 2012 we did our second video called the Techno Mecca Mixtape. At the top of 2013, we launched our first venture, the Detroit Sound Project. Jen would sell merchandise as well as strategically promote our brand to people who could help us reach our production goals. The early videos of DJ sets that Christian was shooting and editing were a big part of our Facebook page, which was our primary means of attracting attention in the early days, as well as connecting with people all over the world. Was that not a commercial? Our Facebook page connected us with the Cape Town Electronic Music Festival in early 2013. They invited us to come and film their festival that was modeled after the Detroit Electronic Music Festival. And through that connection, we were able to meet other people and other artists of the scene that helped us to create our short film, Electric Roots, the Detroit Sound Project. Being a DJ, what's a DJ? <laughs> How am I going to be different from the DJ who played before me or the one who's going to come after? Music has allowed me to connect with new people, to travel the world, and to kind of live a dream. We were able to premiere at the Pan African Festival the following year in 2014, as well as the Cannes Short Film Festival. By us getting the film into the film festival, we really thought that we had made it and that that was what we needed in order to get the financing in order to make the feature film. However, what we found out is that we just didn't find a home for it to sell it. It's important to get a film to market because then you can finally make money. And we can tell our own stories to ourselves all day long, but the idea to tell stories is for other people to know about them. And so there are lots of options a filmmaker has as to how they distribute and market their films. From 2015 to 2018, people were asking us, did we have a trailer for the film? And it wasn't until my good friend Scott Chanel took my film and edited a two minute trailer in terms of marketing promotion, this was a bullseye. Major record companies couldn't understand it. Here's this black kid from the ghetto of Detroit with this totally electronic music. This is me in the basement with a couple of synthesizers. We were game changers for sure. 
That sound, it was that sound. A little bit of R&B, a little bit of robotic stuff. They just brought something else to the game. When I found out that record was made in Detroit, it blew my mind. That picture right there, this is brotherhood. Once we had something to show that was polished and packaged and ready for the marketplace, doors started to open for us. We were even invited to a good pitch session hosted by Doc Society, and we were pitching to a room full of movers and shakers in Detroit. And our story got the attention of Kickstarter and POV American Documentary, who then helped us to raise $40,000 in 30 days. Doing a Kickstarter campaign was a full-time job. We had a PR agency that was getting us interviews with different news platforms and online platforms. We were also on a promotional tour at universities that really helped us get the word out about our fundraiser. We were also accepted into Film Independence Fast Track program where we met countless industry professionals that helped us to figure out a way to help market and promote our project. Our goal has always been to make a film that could reach as many people as humanly possible and have an impact, you know, tell a positive story about our city as well as give people this information about this music that nobody really knows. We found that fans all over the world regard Detroit techno much like we do jazz in this country. It's critically acclaimed and special. Once we traveled the world and met these people, I realized the power of Detroit techno. And then that became the inspiration for us to then connect these dots for Detroiters and Americans so that they could then understand where this music came from and to help Detroit harness the power of techno and to use techno tourism to boost their economy. In branding and in marketing and promotion, you're sharing your idea with people and they have the opportunity to give you feedback. Feedback that you desire or feedback that you need in order to make a better product. For a long time, our film only spoke to insiders, people that understood and knew the story or were acquainted with the music in some way. But we knew this story had potential to be more universal. So it took us that long to develop and shape our story, to be able to bring it to the marketplace in this way. We were fortunate enough to connect with production partners in the past two years that have more experience than we do in the marketplace and are currently helping us get to the finish line. The most important thing that's come out of all this work in terms of marketing and promotions is a brand. We've been able to develop a language with people that can continue on even beyond our release. This brand that we've created will be used for other film projects and book projects and media projects, as well as VR projects mm -hmm. that can live on forever. The work that we've done, the research that we've done in this space has become more than just a film, but a movement. In no way do we try to just half ass anything that we put in front of people. We're constantly trying to make it as tight as we possibly can because that's the essence of our brand, it's quality. I'm glad to share this information with you. I salute you for spending time and watching this video. Thank you to Shari Vari for this opportunity. And again, salute.